So hey you guys, I have a dessert recipe for you and today it is lemon pound cake. Now I'm a huge fan, excuse me, that's the oven back there. I'm a huge fan of boxed pound cake because you can always add some other ingredients to make it taste as authentic as possible. The only time I make cakes from scratch is during the holidays and for birthdays. So we have two boxes of um, Pillsbury Lemon Supreme Moist Supreme Pound Cake. Now I'm not sure if this calls for oil or butter, but low key you can use either or because Butter is just a, a fat, that's what it is. So yes, it calls for half a cup of oil, three eggs. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I have and tell you what I'm gonna use. Now I have perfected my recipe. I only use one and a half boxes. I have a stick of butter, I have some sour cream, a package of pudding. These two is what's gonna make it very, very moist, okay? I have some lemon, I'm gonna use lemon juice and I'm gonna use lemon zest, vanilla, some vegetable oil, some powdered sugar, and then we have four eggs. So I have preheated my oven to 365 degrees. I dried off some. Um, if you hear any background, I do apologize. My son is playing in a little baby pool on, on the back here. So you guys, I have a good friend. Her name is Miss Wanda. And one thing she always requests, and not always when she comes and visits, is my lemon pound cake, and this is how I make it. So, so, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna use half of this cake mix here. Okay, and that's about half. And what I do is just save this for another time when I'm gonna be cooking. So I'm gonna add my oil. This is half a cup of oil. I'm gonna do almost three fourths of a cup, because again, I'm doing, um, one and a half boxes of the cake mix, excuse me. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. I got a little container here to crack my eggs in. Just a word of advice, crack your eggs in a separate container. Um, that way, just in case one of them is, you know, something's wrong with it, you don't waste your entire batter. Another thing I like to do, mostly when I'm making um, cakes from scratch, is to add one egg at a, at a time and then beat the batter. Again, that makes it fluffy. I'm not going to add all of this. If you want to, you can. I'm just going to add half of the pudding. I'm not going to. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. I would say one teaspoon. Um, and then I'm going to add the juice from one lemon. Look at about two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice is what came out of that. I'm going to add one fourth of a cup. I know people like to add sometimes, the, again, the entire container, but yeah, I'm only gonna do one fourth of a cup. And next I'm gonna add my water, all right? About one cup of water, give or take. Now you guys, um, yeah, I'm in mixing this. Let me tell you something, I am a country cook to the core. I did not buy a hand mixer until a few years ago, actually. I also do like, Texas sheet cake. Those of you from the South know what I'm talking about. Texas sheet cake. And my grandmother used to make a red velvet cake that was a sheet cake and she would also dye the um, icing would be red too. So you would have this red icing on top of a sheet red velvet cake. It was like heaven, you guys. And she made that for my birthday a couple of times. So I know this is a little different. Normally I show you guys what it looks like and I will be turning the camera around so you guys can see how I make the icing. Popping this into the oven at 365 for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm give or take a couple of minutes, okay? So using the same bowl, washing it out. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in. This is gonna be a glaze, you guys, not an icing. So um, let's start off with one cup. Next I'm gonna add my lemon juice. I have about one and a half tablespoons here, probably two tablespoons. And I'm gonna add some butter, um, melted butter that is. Add some more of that butter. I'm gonna whip this up some. Probably add a little bit more lemon, but I'm gonna wait and see what the consistency is gonna be after I mix it up now. So allowing the cake to cool for about 10 minutes before popping it out and look at that, very beautiful. You can serve it as is or go ahead and glaze it. Now I do apologize that I didn't get any footage of me glazing the cake itself, but here it is. Um, it did turn out to be a thin glaze, a little on the runny side, but that's okay. I'm cutting myself a slice. Look at how, yes, this cake was dense yet moist, and that's how pound cake should be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.